Welcome dear friend dog lover. Thank you in advance for visiting my channel dedicated to the happiness and health of dogs. Today we are going to learn about, Cocker Spaniel Puppies. The Cocker Spaniel is primarily a beloved companion dog breed, though they remain a capable bird dog at heart. Beautiful to look at and labor intensive to groom the Cocker's amenable, cheerful disposition also makes them a treat to have in the family. Never more pleased than when they're pleasing you, they're as happy to snuggle on the couch with their favorite adults as to romp in the yard with the kids. Apartment or a large home with a backyard, the Cocker is a highly trainable and adaptable addition to the family. Dogtime recommends this dog bed to give a good night's sleep to your medium-sized Cocker Spaniel. You should also pick up this dog brush and massager for your long-haired pup. Now we will see all dog breed traits and facts about Cocker Spaniels. The smallest member of the American Kennel Club Sporting Group, the Cocker Spaniel is the darling of many U.S. pet owners. Remember the female lead in Lady and the Tramp? It's no accident that the movie's model of an affectionate and pampered pet was a Cocker Spaniel. From the late 1930s to the 1950s, the Cocker was the number one breed registered with the AKC. Then his popularity declined for almost 30 years, but he shot to the top of the charts again during the mid-1980s, and only in 1992 was his number one status taken over by Labrador and Golden Retrievers. Today, the Cocker remains within the top 15 registered breeds. And no wonder, a well-bred Cocker Spaniel is a pleasure to own. He is known for a merry, sound temperament. His flowing coat is extremely handsome, he's loving and gentle, and he wants nothing more than to make his family happy. Compared to other dogs in the sporting group, the Cocker is small, 20 to 30 pounds, fitting comfortably into an apartment, condo, or a small home. He is primarily a companion but is easily trained for the confirmation show ring, obedience and agility competitions, and fieldwork. He is also an excellent therapy dog. The typical Cocker Spaniel is gentle, a loving and trustworthy family companion who is good with children, other pets, and the elderly. Unfortunately, his extreme popularity leaves him open to the bane of all favorite breeds, unscrupulous people who breed with no regard for temperament, health, or confirmation. As a result, some Cocker Spaniels have serious health and temperament problems. If you are considering a Cocker Spaniel, you must be extremely careful from whom you buy or adopt a puppy buy only from a reputable breeder. Never buy a puppy from a backyard breeder, puppy mill, or pet store. Reputable breeders breed with temperament in mind and perform various health tests to ensure that their breeding dogs don't pass on a predisposition to genetic diseases. Because cockers are so popular, it is especially careful to research breeders and find one who is dedicated to improving the breed. The sensitive Cocker Spaniel can be a bit nervous, even when he's from a good breeder and has been properly socialized. Don't be surprised if your Cocker exhibits submissive urination, peeing when excited. Cockers can be barkers, so the response to a quiet command should always be part of this dog's repertoire. The Cocker is eager to please and likes to be close to his family. But remember, he was bred to be a hunting dog. Don't be surprised when he chases birds or other small animals when you're out on a walk. Keep your cocker on a leash whenever you aren't in a fenced area. The cocker has a soft personality. Harsh training methods will make him fearful, so be sure to use gentle, consistent training to get the best results. A cocker spaniel's long ears are both a part of his beauty and a potential health problem. Be sure to check your cocker's ears every week for infections. Keeping the cocker coat beautiful is expensive and a lot of work. Plan on paying a professional groomer and on brushing the coat every day. History. The modern cocker spaniel is descended from the spaniel family, a large group that dates to antiquity. The word spaniel means, Spanish dog, and it's generally believed that they indeed originated in Spain. By the 1800s, spaniels were divided into two groups, toys primarily companions, and large hunting dogs. Hunting dogs were further divided into land and water spaniels. The Cocker Spaniel was named so for his excellence in the field hunting woodcock. Size. Males stand 15 inches tall, females are 14 inches tall. Males and females weigh 24 to 28 pounds. Personality. The well-bred Cocker Spaniel has a sweet temperament. He is affectionate and cuddly and loves to participate in family activities. He is playful, alert, and active, enjoying any exercise from a brisk walk to hunting in the field. 
The Cocker is known to be a sensitive dog, mentally and physically. He has a soft personality and does not respond well to harsh treatment, sometimes turning to growling or snapping when he's in pain or afraid. Early socialization and training is essential to teach the Cocker appropriate canine manners. He needs to be handled carefully and kindly to bring out the best in his personality. Health. Cockers are generally healthy, but, like all breeds of dogs, they're prone to certain conditions and diseases. 1. Eye problems. Eye problems can strike the cocker in a number of ways, including progressive retinal atrophy, a degenerative disease of the retinal cells that progresses to blindness, cataracts, a cloudy film that forms over the eye, glaucoma, a condition in which pressure builds up inside of the eyeball, and eye abnormalities. If you notice any redness in your cocker's eyes, or if he starts rubbing his face a lot, take him to the vet for a checkup. 2. Autoimmune Hemolytic Anemia. AIHA is a condition in which a dog's immune system attacks its own blood cells. Symptoms include pale gums, fatigue, and sometimes jaundice. A swollen abdomen is also indicative since it signals an enlarged liver. Most affected cockers do well with treatment, but they should not be bred. 3. Hypothyroidism. Disorder of the thyroid gland that's thought to cause conditions such as epilepsy, hair loss, obesity, lethargy, dark patches on the skin, and other skin conditions. It's treated with medication and diet. 4. Primary seborrhea. Skin problems caused by the overproduction of skin cells, including the sebaceous oil cells. The skin becomes greasy and scaly and has a foul odor. Treatments include medication and medicated baths. 5. Allergies. A common ailment in dogs and cockers can be especially prone to them. The three main types are food allergies, which are treated by eliminating certain foods from the dog's diet. 6. Idiopathic epilepsy. Often inherited and can cause mild or severe seizures. 7. Canine hip dysplasia. An abnormal formation of the hip socket that can cause pain and lameness. Dogs with hip dysplasia should not be bred. If you're buying a puppy, ask the breeder for proof that the parents have been tested for hip dysplasia and are free of problems. 8. Patellar luxation. Involves dislocation luxation of the kneecap patella. In this condition the knee joint, often of a hind leg, slides in and out of place, causing pain. This can be crippling. Care. The Cocker Spaniel is well suited to living in an apartment or condo, though of course, he loves to share a house and yard. Although he doesn't need vast space to roam, he does need daily activity. A daily romp in the yard along with a brisk 30-minute walk can keep him happy and trim. Then bring him inside with you, the cocker is not pleased to be left alone outdoors for the day, and he may respond by digging or barking to keep himself amused. He's most content when he's with his family, participating in the group's activities. Like most dogs, the cocker is better behaved when active than when he's allowed to get bored, which can lead to such behavior problems as barking, digging, and chewing. Feeding. Recommended daily amount. 1.5 to 2.5 cups of high-quality dry food a day. The cocker spaniel has a hearty appetite, and he will overeat if given the chance. He's especially skilled at melting your resolve with his big, brown eyes as he begs for tidbits. But don't give in, an overweight cocker is an unhealthy cocker. Coat color and grooming. There are few breeds as handsome as the well-groomed cocker spaniel. His thick, sometimes wavy coat is short on the head and back and long on the ears, chest, belly, and legs. The coat is a solid color, black or light cream to red to brown, or party color, two or more colors, one of which is white. Grooming is an intense, and potentially expensive, proposition for the cocker spaniel. The Cocker Spaniel must be introduced to grooming early so he will grow up to accept it as a normal part of his life. The nails need to be trimmed once a month, or at grooming sessions, and the ears checked once a week for dirt, redness, or a bad odor that can indicate an infection. Children and other pets. One of the reasons the Cocker Spaniel is so popular is that he makes a good family dog. He gets along well with children, as long as he is raised with them and the kids are kind and respectful to animals. But because he is a sensitive dog, all interactions between the cocker and children should be supervised by a responsible adult. You're a wonderful person. Wow, you came to the end of this video. Can you please subscribe and activate the bell? If possible we would appreciate you giving us a like. 
We appreciate it from the heart. Thank you very much and God bless you.